Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing March's Bookopoly TBR and I'm really really excited. So without further ado, let's tell you very briefly how February went. It is currently a week till the end of the month so I do have a few days left to go but i just like to film this pretty early on in the month. So um, to start off with, this is what my TBR looked like for February. I had Fortuna Swan for a romance, Wolf for a spell for a middle grade, Vicious for a five star prediction, Beetle and the Hollow Bones for a graphic novel, even the darkest stars for a sci-fi. I had a mood read which could be any of the books that I've pretty much picked up otherwise like outside of this lot. Uh, Battle Royale for a big book. Um, All the Wandering Light was swapped out. I swapped that out in place of Throne of Glass because I am no longer taking part in Tog Along. Um, so I swapped that out. It, it was for a YA fantasy. So I swapped it out for All the Wandering Light. And then we also have Witchy for a graphic novel. Out of all of these, I have got a just under 100 pages of Vicious left. I think around about just 100 pages of All the Wandering Light and then the two graphic novels as well. So I will get those done before the end of the month and therefore will take no punishment. So on that basis, let's get into our roles. I'm really looking forward to um, March as a whole. Uh, there's quite a few exciting things that are going to be happening throughout March and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Jade has done an announcement for the Witchland series and also Becca has done an announcement for Bookopolathon as well, which I'm really, really excited about. I'll leave a link to both of those announcements down below if you want to go and check them out and also to both Jade and Becca's channels. So do go and check those out. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about some of the things that are going on in March. And without further ado, Let's get into March's TBR. So let's find out what our initial role is going to be on the D&D diet to tell us how many roles we're going to do. Is a three. Okay, three. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's a very low number. Um, I think this will be like the lowest intentional TBR I will have ever had in my life, but I can totally roll with three. That's fine. <laughs> doesn't mean I only have to read three books in the month of March it just means that my bookopoly ones the ones I really need to stick to are only three which is fine so let's get into the roles let's go for role number one so last month we ended on graphic novel or manga so we're gonna finish well start off here and I will actually turn the board because we'll be going around the corner so let's do that now <laughs> and so first role is Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is a sci fi. Rule number one brought us a sci fi. So for this, I'm going to be picking up Warcross by Marie Lou. I've been wanting to read this one for a really long time now, and I've heard really good things. I know that Kayla from Books on Lala read this one and was not expecting to love it, and she really, really did. And I think G from Book Roast has really enjoyed this one as well. So from the back, it says, From the millions who log in every day, Warcross isn't just a game, it's a way of life. We're following a teenage hacker called Amika Chen who makes a living catching illegal Warcross players but the bounty hunting world is a constant struggle and when Amika takes a risk and hacks into the opening game of the Warcross championship she becomes an overnight sensation. The now famous hacker is whisked off to Tokyo to meet the game's creator, the elusive billionaire Haido Tanaka. He needs a spy in this year's tournament and wants Amika for the job, but it's not long before she uncovers a sinister plot, one that could shatter the entire Warcross empire. It sounds really, really good. And again, like I say, I've heard really good things as well. So I really do want to get into this one and I'm looking forward to picking this one up. So that is book number one. Rule number two is four. One, two, three, four, which is a poll pick. Rule number two was a poll pick. So I took this to my patrons and allowed them to make the decision for me. So the options were Iron Heart by Nina Varela, which is a, the final book, book two, and the final book in the Cryer's War series. I also gave them Firefight by Brandon Sanderson, which is book two in the Reckoners series. And then I gave them Saints Blood by Sebastian de Castell, which is book three in the Great Coat series. And the one that won, naturally, 
was Saints Blood by Sebastian de Castell. So this is the one that I will be picking up for the month of March and I'm really looking forward to this one. The Great Coat series is following um, three guys who basically were part of the Great Coats who used to be a band of people basically who fought for the king so the king then died and these three guys end up kind of becoming um bodyguards and stuff for other important people because the great coats basically fell apart when the king died and they become bodyguards and we end up following them in the first one i've only followed i've only read the first one so far i am planning on picking up the, the second one this week i'm hoping towards the end of this week so i will hopefully finish it in march and then i can pick this one up but um we end up following them on this journey essentially and just going through a bit of an adventure with things. This book has attitude, it has sass, it has such amazing characters with such great dynamics and just I loved it so much. If you are looking for something that's quite dark and twisty, a little bit sick but also hilarious in places, great comedy, um, it's just everything that i would love that i look for in a book and i love this series so much it's one of jade's favorite series of all time and i'm just so thankful that i picked it up so great shout from jade but yeah thank you to my patrons for picking this one up for me i am very very glad indeed so thanks to them for picking this one for me and then my final roll is a double five so i got ten so it's not the final roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is gifted, which will be nice, actually. I can definitely make that work. Roll number three brought us a double, which means that we're going to have roll number four, but it also brought us gifted books. So I'm going to be picking up Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which is the third and final book in the Mistborn trilogy. And this was gifted to me by Tracy. So thank you so much, Tracy, for gifting me this one. I have been loving this series so far, and I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. And this is a buddy read with Anna and Catherine. We've been buddy reading the series. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to pick this one up. I finished The Well of a Ascension, probably a week ago now and I wanted to pick this up immediately but the girls weren't quite up to date so I couldn't do so so it's going on my March TBR because I will be picking it up probably the first week of March hopefully fingers crossed so I am loving this series so far we start off by following a young girl called Vin who is an alamancer basically and we follow follow a guy called Kelsia who's also an alamancer and he takes Viv in and with a group of other people want to take down the bad guy essentially and that's what happens in the first book i can't tell you what happens in the second one because it happens straight after and it's a spoiler and i have no idea where this is going to go i was a mixed bag of emotions by the end of the well of ascension so i'm really looking forward to picking this one up i cannot wait i did give the well of ascension five stars so i am predicting this will be the same so i'm really looking forward to picking this one up cannot wait okay roll number four is three one two three a romance and then the fourth and final roll for bookopoly this is so short the fourth and final roll brought us a romance and, and for this one i'm going to be reading act your age eve brown by talia hibbert i will show a picture of it here because it's not come out yet it does come out in march i'm fairly certain it's like the 9th of march if that's wrong i will leave the date here above the book but um i'm really looking forward to this one i have a net galley arc of it and it's also going to be contemporary book clubs book pick for march and april i will leave a link to the information for contemporary book club down below so you can go check it out if you want to but it is my book club where we read contemporary books and this is our pick for contemporary book club so this is the third and final book in the brown sister series the first one being get a life chloe brown the second one being take a hint danny brown and this one being at your age eve brown honestly i haven't read the synopsis for this so i have no idea what happens in this book so we're going to be following eve brown who is the youngest of the brown sisters and i'm not sure what rep to expect in this book but all of talia hibbert's books have had really amazing rep in this series so far so i'm really really looking forward to this one and i cannot wait to pick it up I just really really love this series so much so i'm really looking forward to picking this one up and i'm really glad i've been able to fit it on at bookopoly so as far as the rest of the books for my TBR are concerned, I only have two more that I actually really need to read in the month of March, and those are essentially book club picks. So those are 
Truth Witch by Susan Dennard for the Witchland series by Jade, which I just mentioned previously. Information will be linked down below. I don't know a great deal about this. I am assuming it's got something to do with witches. And on the back it says, in a continent on the edge of war, two witches hold its fate in their hand. So I'm really looking forward to this one. She's been banging on about the series for a while now and I think it's going to be a reread for her. But I haven't read this before. I did a few years ago try but DNF'd it, but I did not know my reading tastes at all at that point, and I hadn't dipped my toe into fantasy much, so I think I was trying to do too much too soon. But I'm really looking forward to picking this one up and giving it another go, and I cannot wait to do so. So yeah, if you want to join in on the Witchland series or to find out more information, link down below, as mentioned. Um, and then also Amari and the Knight Brothers for Middle Grade Monthly, which is hosted by both Gav and Jade. Again, leave a link to both their channels down below, and I'm really looking forward to this one. It sounds so good and this book is just stunning so this is following a Mary Peters who knows things her brother Quinton has gone missing no one will talk about it his mysterious job holds a clue when she's invited for a trial at the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs a Mary is certain that this is a chance to save him but first she has to get her head around the new world of the Bu world of the Bureau where mermaids aliens and magicians are real and her roommate is a were dragon this literally sounds like um men in black a little bit but like a middle grade version amari must compete for a spot against kids who've known this world their whole lives and with an evil magician threatening the whole supernatural world amari has never felt more alone but if she doesn't pass three tryouts she may never find out what happens to quinton to save her brother amari is going to have to fight harder for this than she ever has before it sounds so good this definitely sounds like a cross between um nevermore a little bit with the trials and also um like I say, Men in Black, a little bit. I don't know if that's the right vibe that that book gives off, but that's what it's giving me. But I'm really looking forward to this one. It sounds so good. So yeah, can't wait to pick this one up. And then that's pretty much it. The only other thing I have then is my uh, buddy read for my Patreons. So I gave them five options. This is for March and April, so I don't know if I'll read this this month or in the month of March or whether I'll read it in the month of April. I might push it into April, but we'll see. But basically these were my options. So I gave them Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Slay by Brittany Morris, The Humans by Matt Haig, Regretting You by Colleen Hoover, and also War Cross, War Cross by Marie Lou. I don't know what's wrong with me. My mouth isn't functioning properly today. And the book that won is The Humans by Matt Haig. So I'm really looking forward to reading this because I was watching the process of Jade reading this book essentially when she did Read It Like G from Book Roast. And uh, she just had a lot of WTF moments with this book, but really enjoyed it all the same. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This is following a guy who is an alien. Basically, he comes to Earth and he ends up in this guy's body. He has a whole family, but he has a dog as well, who's like the only thing that he can associate with because he's having to learn everything from scratch. He doesn't know anything about the planet and humans. And basically, he like has this dog. He's got his family, which he struggles, obviously, to connect with because he's an alien and I don't know where else it goes other than that but I think fairly certain that that's what's going on with it and I'm really really looking forward to it it sounds really good but it sounds like it's definitely one that's going to make you think as well so I can't wait to pick this one up so this is March and April's buddy read for my patreons um if you want to find out more about my patreon there is a link down below if you want to go and have a look but absolutely no pressure um and thank you to everybody that does support me via patreon as well i really really appreciate it so yeah that's what we're going to be reading for march and april with so that's pretty much it for my TBR for the month of March. This does not look like a great deal, especially used to my usual TBRs, plus the Eve Brown book as well. And I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait. I do have a couple of other books in the pipeline that I really want to pick up, but I'm not going to mention them just in case I don't get to them. Um, so you will see in my reading vlogs anyway. Uh, I have a couple of themed reading vlogs planned for March with it being such a quiet month. And as far as Bookopoly is concerned, and yeah, also we have Bookoplathon, so that is something that I cannot plan for. I cannot plan my books for that. Obviously, if you've seen the announcement video, you will see why, but if you haven't, do go check it out. So I can't plan a TBR for that at all either. So it's nice to have like a quiet month, to be fair, like I'm really grateful. Uh, but we will see how this goes, but I'm very excited indeed, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, please drop me a like book stack 
emoji or the you know the one where the books are sitting over the top of each other whatever it looks like on your phone <laughs> and i hope you have enjoyed this video and i shall see you next time bye for now